Hey everybody, it's Heather and welcome to Mystic Musings. I want to start off by apologizing again for Friday's video's audio. I cannot for the life of me figure out why the first half is like really quiet and then all of a sudden it's like, hello I am talking to you so loudly. It, again, I put a comment down in that video. If you want me to re-upload, uh, I'm happy to re-record it and do it because for me on some devices it was good, on others it was horrible, so just let me know. Anyway, moving on. Today, Spooky Sunday, we're going to talk about the John Lawson house. Why are we talking about this house? Because it includes moving mannequins. Okay, so I'm going to put pictures up. Um, this house is unusual, to say the least. Haunted? Maybe. Occupied? Maybe. But no one's ever seen anybody here. So how do all these mannequins that are on the front porch change clothes, change position, and how does no one see that happen? This house is located near the new Hamburg train station in New York. And it's not just the mannequins that move, even how many mannequins there are differ from day to day. And if it rains, the mannequins are nowhere to be found. People obviously, obviously have tried to peek in this house to see if someone's in there, but these crazy like blackout curtains are all over the windows so no one can see in. Now, there are other people on this street and they have reported seeing um, a light in the kitchen sometimes on, but no one's seen actual people. Now, there's also a garden in the back that's maintained, uh, you know, so it, it would seem that someone's there. But if someone's there, why are they doing this? What's the point, um, you know? What does it mean? Many people believe the mannequins have a message to convey, that they act as a sort of riddle. In 1871, a train crashed just 200 feet from the house and killed 22 people, and oftentimes, the mannequins seem to be pointing toward that crash site. So a lot of people have thought, well, maybe, you know, it has something to do with that. But the house itself has a sad story, too. It was constructed in 1845, and not long after that, there was a horrible fire that came through. It destroyed almost every house on the block. So actually, there are only two remaining historic homes on that block. Obviously, the John Lawson house being one of them. Sometimes the mannequins are pointing toward the only remaining home from that fire. So other people have thought that the riddle, assuming there is one, may have to do with that more so than the train crash. But regardless, what is what is the point? I mean, if it's got to do with the house, fine. If it has to do with if it has to do with the train wreck, fine. But what what's what is it? What's this, what is this mysterious person or what are these ghosts or whatever trying to say with these creepy creepy life-size mannequins? Aside from being dressed in clothing that's about a century outdated, these mannequins are always holding on to things weird things like bird cages, books, towels, hairbrushes, things that don't really go together. Uh, if you find, you know, the six degrees of separation from these objects, let me know. That would be a fun game. Let's try it. So, you know, to thinking realistically, it seems to me that someone could look up tax records or property records or something uh, and find out if this house is indeed occupied and if it's not, Okay, um, what I really want to know, though, is why no one has put a video camera, like, on their front porch or something, and zoomed into that house. That's what I would do. But I guess at the same time, it's fun to think that, like, ghosts are just, like, pushing these mannequins out every day, that some supernatural force is what is moving them, um, and taking care of the vegetable garden <laughs> in the back. Um, but, you know, I do think that realistically there should be a way to figure this out. Um, but again, you know, if I lived across the street, I say that I would put out a camera, but maybe I wouldn't. Because, I, I mean, it's just so neat. It's so bizarre. Um, and you have to give credit to whomever, if anyone, is in that house 
for somehow being unseen at all times. Because again, if someone's in there, like, do they grocery shop? Or do they just like get on Seamless and have food brought to them? But see then, like whoever works at Seamless, you know, would be like, oh, okay, I delivered food to that house to some guy in a dress. I mean, I don't know, maybe Norman, Norman Bates is in that house and all the mannequins look like his mother. Riddle solved, all right. Still don't know why they're pointing to anything, but there you go, figured it out. Uh, anyway, so I just wanted to make a short video about this for Spooky Sunday, because even though maybe it's not at all paranormal, I do think that it's really creepy in a really cool way. If you have ideas, theories, if you make a connection between what I said they're holding and what they're pointing at, if you make a connection between what they're pointing at and what they're holding, let me know. Uh, I will be racking my brain as well. Currently, I've got nothing uh, at all. But anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully the audio in this is better. I'll have an external mic next week. We're gonna start getting way better stuff. Um, but anyway, yeah. So I will see you guys Freaky Friday and Hopefully when we meet back again, we'll have solved this whole little mystery. Can't wait. See you soon. <laughs> Bye.